Okay, this is the GE 990 Juicy's Radio Part 3. Um, I've been using it off and on for about a week or two just around the house to see if anything secondary infant mortality is what I call it when you put something back into service and uh, usually a few things will break on it within the first I don't know, 50 to 100 hours of operation. So I put some batteries in it. And I'm still not happy with the way the FM sounds. And the dial spring broke. There's two separate dial cords, if you remember from video one or two or whatever it was. One of them was the drive from this to the pointer, but it would still tune. So the spring for the pointer was broken, the pointer uh, string. And then a couple days ago, the spring for the actual uh, tuning capacitor broke. So you turn this and this would move back and forth, but the, the uh, capacitor wouldn't move or something like that. Or no, this just would spin free. So I replaced that with a conventional spring and it seems to work. I'm still not happy with the way the FM sounds. When you're centered on it, when you're actually centered on the station, it, it nulls out and gets distorted as you can hear. So you, you actually got to be on one side or the other. So I want to change the stabilizing capacitor first before I dig into the alignment or anything else. And this did have low ESR electrolytic caps, but they weren't that bad, really. Alright, I replaced the, uh, better get off of that. I, I replaced the stabilizing capacitor and of course it didn't help. So at peak signal, it just totally muffles and mutes out and distorts. It's like it's overloading. If I take the antenna off of it, it works better. But it shouldn't do that. So either the AGC is not AGCing, and the gain is just staying wide open, or I don't know. It's easy enough to check the alignment. Yeah, you can hear it's gnawing right on 10.7. And it's not going negative. So I gotta double check my connections here and then try and figure out why it's not going negative. The diodes and the resistors seem to check okay and the reason why it sounds like crap is because I'm only getting half the signal. That's why when you're tuned right in the center it nulls out and cancels because it's the opposing side is not there, it's not balanced. Now, I've seen this before and it was the capacitor inside the can. Now it was not a little micro can like this, it was a big can. I don't know if this can be operated on or not. Your house? Yep. Okay, I am going to do something no one else has probably ever done which is tear this thing all apart again and remove that IF transformer, check the diodes, check the resistors, 
and see if I can access the capacitor inside that IF transformer. Alright, here's the transformer out of the circuit and you can see it says Japan on the bottom of it there and you can see the capacitor in the bottom. What we're going to do now is we'll check the diodes with the, uh, the crunch wrap out of the circuit. Alright, both diodes seem to check okay, the resistors check okay, so I went ahead and pulled the capacitor out of the thing. And one thing I did do before I um, did any kind of screwing with this is I marked all of these with a sharpie, so I made sure I'm putting all these IF cans back where they were. Here, tip it, tip it up so you can. So this is measuring um, right about 110 micro picofarads. Um, that's assuming that uh, that's assuming that that's right, which that seems kind of high for FM to me. It seems like 39 to 50 would be about right. So. Um, it's interesting to test it. At least what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one on the bottom here. So I, I'm either going to, I'm going to put a variable capacitor on the bottom and see if I can get the thing to zero with the variable capacitor. And if it does zero, then what I'll do is I'll take it back off and I'll measure it with the cap tester and then I'll put a fixed value on the bottom. But for now, that, that one right there is measuring 110. Okay, this is, this is a uh, 8.5 to 120 trimmer. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to leave the core at the original factory setting. And I'm going to try and adjust the trimmer to bring see if it'll balance bring it into zero plus and minus and then uh, I will measure I'll remove the trimmer measure the capacitance and install a fixed dipped mylar or disc dipped mylar dipped mica mica balloon alright <laughs> we need to roll on this like 12 kilohertz squeal the dog is now barking at the lawn. Well, it does, it's still, I don't know. Well, I'm still not getting the other side. I'm only getting one side of this thing, even cranking the capacitor around. Guess it's time to check those diodes. All right, the SAMS is wrong, which is no surprise. And unfortunately, the mistake in the SAMS has caused me to a lot of work and to take that IF transformer apart and rip the capacitor out of the bottom of it. So you're just brilliant, SAMS. And I, I had to, I'm not really familiar with this um, detector circuit, FM detector, ratio detector, discriminator, whatever you want to call this thing. Usually the way they do this is the diodes are, the cathode is pointing in and the cathode's pointing out. And then what they do is this line here that loops back through this turns out to be the audio output well GE of course did it a little bit different they have 6.3 volts here and they have basically 6.3 volts here applied through the volume control um, and the way this actually works is 
when this is balanced, meaning the radio station is dead center, this is 6.3 volts and this is 6.3 volts. And the way they do, the reason why they do that is because they feed this back here through the AFC circuit. And so basically what the AFC circuit wants to do is it wants to keep this at 6.3 volts, just like this is 6.3 volts, which would be zero drop. If you were measuring from here to here, it would be zero volts. While SAMS tells you to measure between 6.3 volts and then point B. So basically what SAMS has done here is they have A and B reversed. And we can look at that. DC probe to point B, common to 6.3 volts. Adjust A25, which is the wrong slug, by the way, SAMS. Adjust for a zero reading. A positive or a negative will be on either side. Well, I wish I had really analyzed this before I pull that capacitor out of the IF transformer. It's no big deal. Um, I gotta just, this is good practice. Basically what I've come up with it, I've, I've got the signal generator set at 10.7 and I'm looking, looking at that voltage between those two points and you can see it's negative 0.2. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my frequency on the on the signal generator. Positive 0.4, negative 1. So adjusting it for zero without looking at it, we should be 10.7. And adjusting the trimmer, adjusting the trimmer gives me the same results. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some new diodes in here because I screwed one of the diodes up too. And then I will set the trimmer and then I'll pull the trimmer out, measure it with the capacitor tester and that will be the uh, value I put in there. And then I'll fine tune it with the core. Now you'll notice that I no longer have that null point in the middle of the band um, like I did and I don't have the distortion. Special ratings engine, that way you can compare dozens of insurance companies all in one place and find the best insurance for you. Uh, uh, I have a free pair of GoFest tickets within the next five minutes for you to win. <laughs> Y para otras formas de ahorrar dinero en ahorrar energía, visite el sitio web de su proveedor local de servicios públicos. How does a long weekend at a five-star resort sound? That sounds amazing. I can't believe this is happening to us. Thank you. Do you think random acts of helpfulness were real? I'm living proof that it's... And the exact representation of God's being. He is equal... What a life. 150. <laughs> Right, we're actually holding free training. Oh, God, inverse number. Now, 800-700-1215. 
you're going to be very happy. Eight... Vale. <risa> bueno. Ver, o sea, eh, la controversia es de una Works pretty good now. Sounds much, much, much better. So I need to go back and straighten that out and then go back and realign the whole thing with the SAMs reversed. And measuring the trimmer, the trimmer measures about 115 picofarads. So it's pretty close to the one I pulled out of there. Okay, I got 120 picofarad in there and that appears to be it. See it open there at about the same spot. So this is off, this is a little bit out, out of calibration, which I imagine it's allowed to be after not being calibrated for 80 years or whatever. Okay, I'm going to put the diodes back in and clean the flux up, but I'm calling this fixed. What I did is I put the 120 in there and then I put the signal generator back on it and I had to touch up the core on the other side to get it right, but it's good now and it's, it's working right more than anything. You could hear it's it's there's no null point in between two peaks, you know, a dead spot in the center with peaks on the outside like there was in the beginning of the video. Also the AFC works. It sounds a little distorted. The batteries could be low. It's very possible. Uh, anyway, I'm going to call this done. <laughs> 